Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising, welcome to your general reading. This is the Dream Medium. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I hope you're doing well. So Scorpio, let's look into your life, right? Let's see what's going on here. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. Excuse me. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. What's going on in Scorpio's life? What does Scorpio need to know? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, what's going on in Scorpio's life? Hmm. Mm, okay. The Empress. Page of Swords. Ten of Swords. What's going on in Scorpio's life? Okay, two of swords. A lot, okay? You see all of these cards coming out? A lot is going on in your life, but let's talk about it, all right? Let's see. Let's see. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Clarify. I see someone crying. I'm not going to lie. I see someone crying. I see um, teary eyes. It could be yours. It could be your person. We'll see, though. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this is them. Okay, Page of Cups. So let me say my disclaimer. This is a general reading, so only take what resonates and leave what does not. Um, these cards are not gender-specific at all. Anyone can embody these energies. Um, the energies can be reversed, but most times I do pick up strongly on the person on the sign that I'm reading. So for this wheel of fortune that's here, it could either be you or your person of interest, but I feel like for the majority of you, this is them. I feel like, um, you know, the wheel of fortune is a karmic wheel. It talks about karma and what goes around comes back around. A lot of times the wheel of fortune is saying, you either have fortune on your side or you have misfortune. It all depends on your actions in the past. And so I do feel like there's some sort of turn of events that's going on here. I feel like um, if this was like a runner chaser sort of dynamic where this person was very unstable and you were the one who was, you know, really chasing them down and trying to gain stability with them. I feel like the tables are turning and I feel like very soon they're going to be the one pursuing you and doing the chasing because this Knight of Cups here is them wanting to uh, make things right with you. I always say the Knight of Cups is like someone who's doing the walk of shame, you know, someone who wronged you, yet they're having to come right back to you to apologize and make things right. Um, there is a lot of shame that I'm picking up from this person because they're getting their karma. What they put you through is happening to them right now. And you you didn't have a hand in this. You, you didn't do this to them, but it's just the law of karma. What goes around comes back around. You know, the universe absolutely hates imbalance. The universe hates unfairness. The universe loves balance, loves fairness. So you can't expect to cause instability in someone's life and just get away with it because I feel like something's, something's popping off in this person's life. And I'm nosy, so we're going to look more into it, okay? You have the Ten of Pentacles that's here. This person sees you as their ideal partner, like a 10 out of 10, okay? The maximum pentacles is 10, and the 10 of pentacles is how they deem this connection with you. Um, I feel like this person wants marriage. Right when I looked at the 10 of pentacles, I heard marriage, but the 10 of pentacles represents a long-term relationship that's guaranteed to be abundant, okay? I feel like there's some sort of karmic situation that's going on in their personal life, and that's opening 
their eyes to see that the abundance really lied in you. Um, you have the lovers that's here. Yeah, this person could actually be in, be in a karmic relationship now that I think about it. And this karmic partner is giving them hell, okay? I'm sorry, I don't like to really cuss on my channel, but they are, okay? This, this karmic partner is crazy, absolutely crazy. Like this karmic partner will not leave them alone. Um... And this is their karma because this person likes the chase. They like to be chased. They like to play games. And they thought that they could play games with this karmic partner. But little did they know this karmic partner isn't, you know, your average person. This karmic partner has some issues, if you know what I mean. And this karmic partner has done things to keep them bound to them. To make sure that your person will never leave. Um... That's I, I strongly feel like that's their karma. You know, every time as I look into the Wheel of Fortune, I see more and more into their karmic relationship. I see lots of arguments, but it's like the crazy kind of arguments, like threatening each other. Like this karmic partner here threatens this person a lot. Um, you see how like the cards are flying everywhere. This karmic partner partner is very, very crazy. This is someone where when they get mad, I mean, just things pop off. Okay, and your person, this is their karma. This is their karma because like I said, your person feels like they can get away with screwing people over and getting away with it scot-free, you know, or stringing people along and then ghosting them, you know, not having to take accountability. Your person has been doing this and you know, until karma was like, you know what, we're going to, we're going to give you a taste of your own medicine. And then they encountered this karmic partner here who will not leave them alone, nor release them. Okay. I don't want to look into that wheel of fortune anymore because they're, this is crazy. Like this karmic relationship that they're in is toxic. Um, so what they're going through right now with this karmic partner it's making them see that they really could have had it much better with you, Scorpio. They, you know, it's like you look like an angel in their eyes compared to this karmic partner. They're over here, like you see this woman sleeping despite your gender. This is you. You see this person sleeping and then around her are 10 pentacles. They think that you're perfect. They think that you have everything that they want in a partner. They want to settle down with you, marriage. They want to have children. You see the family portraits here. Um... Wow. Yeah. They're going to be coming back, but with a lot of shame and a lot of humiliation as well. Um, so the lovers, they definitely feel like you are a better soulmate. Originally, you guys, the lovers actually represented having options. Okay. Having two people to choose from originally. Yes, the lovers also represents a soulmate connection, but there are many types of soulmates that we will encounter in our lifetime. And so I feel like this person was dealing with two soulmates. One of them was karmic, hence this crazy person here that they're dealing with. And you are clearly the much, much suited soulmate for them. Okay. But of course they chose the harder route and they chose to deal with this karmic partner um wow if you saw the things that this person goes through with this karmic partner you like you would mind your business you would want nothing to do with them because you don't want this karmic situation to transfer or to affect your life you don't want this person to bring their mess into your life okay this, this is some crazy mess here that this person is really in with this karmic partner. But anyways, moving forward. <clears throat> Ten of Wands is here. Past baggage. Okay? They're stressed. They're worried. Um, this person is still holding on to the past. They're still holding on to what transpired between the both of you because there's a lot of regrets. They're, they're literally thinking, wow, things would have been differently if I would have chosen Scorpio. If I would have chosen Scorpio, I wouldn't be in this karmic run. I wouldn't be dealing with this karmic partner here, with this toxic individual, even though I feel like your person is also very toxic, to be honest. Um, let's look at the Empress. OK, 
Okay, clarify the Empress. Tell me more about this Empress. Clarify the Empress. Eight of Swords. Clarify the Empress. Knight of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. So, this Empress energy... I do believe that this is your energy that's being re represented. Um, the Empress is a nurturer. This is someone who's just very kind, very caring, very um, nurturing. And the thing with the Empress is, you know, people who are the Empress are empaths. They're very, very understanding, but some people take advantage of them because of their empathy. And I feel like you were beyond understanding and patient with this person. I feel like you cared about them a lot. Some of you most likely knew that they were in a karmic connection and you cared so much for them that you almost like devoted your time into their relationship with this karmic partner. You know, you took on their burdens and you wanted them to so badly leave. But what you didn't understand is this person is karmic too. This person is karmic as well. This person is toxic as well. That's why they had to face another toxic person to learn a very hard lesson. Um, and by you investing too much of your time into their karmic connection, you got, you know, it brought instability into your life. They became a karmic partner for you. So that's why I always tell people who are the empress, you are empathetic and you have to learn how to set strict boundaries with people you are not it's not your responsibility to change anyone change comes from within and you can only extend yourself so far if you're trying to help someone out of a karmic situation and they don't want your help well leave them you know and all you can really do is just pray for, for them right love them at a distance and just pray for them but i feel like you extended yourself too much to this individual and some of their their chaos and their karmic connection definitely affected you but you're here as the empress you know being very kind very nurturing the most beautiful woman in the deck despite your gender in clarity of the empress you have the page of swords so pages represents a form of communication you're about to get a message from this person it's going to be a message that um will be sent to you from a distance so this could be a phone call it could be a text it could be you know a message through social media but you're about to get a message and I do feel like this person has been <clears throat> watching you. They've definitely been keeping an eye on you from a distance. They could be asking other people about you or watching you through social media. In Clarity of the Empress, you have the Eight of Swords, All right? I do feel like, um, I actually wanna look more into this Eight of Swords. Okay, victory, clarify the Eight of Swords. Clarify the Eight of Swords. You have to be very careful not to take on other people's burdens. I feel like you you did that so many times with this person. You were so worried about them. You were so concerned about them that you just end up being too invested in their life. This is their journey. It's not yours. You have to remember to prioritize and focus on yourself. You have your own problems too. Justice. Queen of Cups, Four of Cups, the Chariot. Give me a second, you guys. Something's going on here. Yeah, the message that I'm hearing for you, take you can take it or leave it, but really the message that I'm hearing for you is do not 
get dragged into this person's karmic situation because that's what they're about to do. They're watching you from a distance. They're about to send you a message and it's going to leave you as the eight of swords. It's going to leave you being stuck in your head and completely confused about a situation that has nothing to do with you. Okay. Um, I feel like this message is going to have a lot to do with their karmic relationship and what this karmic partner did to them. But your person is not 100% innocent either. But they are going to, it's like I see them trying to, you know, tell you what they've been going through. But it's like them dumping all of their burdens onto you. And you you did that before in the past. You're an empress. You do that all the time. And you have to learn to nurture yourself as you try to help others and nurture others. You can't abandon yourself either. You have to prioritize your your health especially your mental health and I feel like this person is going to come in they're going to give you a message they're going to explain supposedly what happened between them and this karmic individual and you're going to be here as the eight of swords feeling stuck feeling stuck okay you even have the justice when I clarify the when I I clarified the eight of swords and the justice card came out. The justice card only comes out if there was an injustice that happened. Okay, so justice is being served. What this person is going through, that's their karma. That's justice being served. But they're going to come towards you for a pity party to get your sympathy and to get you to feel bad for them. But in return, that's only blocking your growth that's only keeping you stuck on their mess what this person i'm going to say it again what this person is going through and they're going to come in and they're going to tell you they're going to be like oh <clears throat> you know they did this and this to me they were horrible to me yada 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 i'm here to tell you that this is their justice this is their karma Okay, this is their karma. Do not get dragged into their karmic mess. You have the Ten of Swords that's here. Look, you even have the Three of Cups. I just told you, don't get dragged into their karma. And look, their karmic mess, Three of Cups, third party situations. They're trying to bring you into their mess as a third party, get you to have sympathy for them, feel bad for them. But really, they're just dumping their load, dumping their burdens onto you. And you have nothing to do with this. This is their karmic journey. This is their karmic partner. They're, there's lessons. There's a reason why they're going through this. I explained it to you in the beginning, because this individual has a habit of getting their way with people, screwing people over and not taking accountability. And so they met they met a karmic partner who was not willing to put up with that. Clarify the 10 of swords. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Look, you have the Tower. Okay, this is juicy. Let's see. Clarify. What is this betrayal about? What is this betrayal? Because the Ten of Swords represents the ultimate betrayal. What is the betrayal about? Look, the devil, the devil, the devil, the devil is their karmic partner. The devil represents someone who's karmic, someone who's extremely toxic. So this person has gone through a major, like the ultimate betrayal with this karmic partner. And that's what will be exposed. That's what's going to be exposed. And for some of you, this person's karmic mess will be publicly exposed.
And maybe that's why this person will come running towards you and try to tell you their side of the story to get your sympathy. <clears throat> okay, so, and for a lot of you, this person betrayed you with this karmic partner. That's why I'm saying, let justice handle this. Don't, don't get dragged into this. This has nothing to do with you at all. You have the nine of pentacles, when I clarified the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles and the Devil, yeah, they're now single. They're now single, Nine of Pentacles. Because this karmic here definitely gave them the ultimate betrayal. This karmic here was keeping major secrets that will be exposed. Back to the Eight of Swords. When I clarify the Eight of Swords, Queen of Cups came out. This individual sees you as the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is someone who is living her best life, okay? This is someone who is looking for love. You're looking for someone to give your cup of love to. So Scorpio, you have healed. You've healed from what this person did. You're moving on. You're looking for a much better and suited partner for you. And then look what happens. Someone from your past tries to come in and dump their burdens on you and make you feel bad for their karmic mess. No, no, no. Don't let them do that to you. Continue focusing on you and finding your rightful person. You have the four of cups that's here, which represents rejection. Okay. I feel like this individual is, is going to make you feel guilty. The four of cups for me, it's more so guilt. Um, and I don't know why. I don't know why they're trying to make you feel guilty because you have nothing to do with this. You even have the um, chariot that's here. Yeah. They do not want you to move on. You see, they see you as the chariot. They see you as someone who is headed towards something new. You see these two people here with this mean mug on his face and one of them is even doing a backflip. They're trying to distract her and I'm sure they're the, one, the ones who put this animal here to trip her so that she won't continue her journey forward. That is why they're coming in. They're also here as the Knight of Pentacles, which is a very slow moving energy. The Knight of Pentacles is, you know, someone who just was taking their sweet time, someone who took forever to come towards you. You also have the Nine of Wands. I feel like this, the Nine of Wands is a wounded warrior. So this person has been through a series of unfortunate events, a series of, of karmic events. You know, they're wounded. And the Nine of Wands also highlights a person's mental health. It says that this individual is emotionally unstable. You have the high priestess and you have the six of wands. Okay. I want to look more into this high priestess here. The high priestess is someone who's very intuitive, very insightful, very spiritually in tune. Clarify the high priestess. And then the Six of Wands represents victory. The Sun, Four of Wands. It's a situation where I feel like this individual who you've been dealing with has finally been enlightened, spiritually enlightened about who you are, that you are a, a good person, that you are a person of light. And they want to get out of this karmic situation so bad and just come right towards you and, you know, kumbaya with you as if nothing ever happened. It's like, you know, I mean, it's ultimately up to you. But the high priestess is saying that this individual is spiritually aware of who you are. Um, they see that you are of light. And so whenever they're in this kind of darkness and surrounded by dark people like that devil card representing their karmic partner whenever they're in trouble whenever they're you know in darkness and and surrounded by deceitful people the one person who they know can help them is you because they see you as the sun they know they know something about you spiritually a lot of you are spiritually gifted and they are aware of this and so they will try to seek your help and of course help people always help people always if you can help someone don't turn them down. But there's a way that you can help someone while setting boundaries with them as well and, and making, making it clear to them that you won't get dragged in, in their mess. 
Um, yeah, you even have victory here. Yeah, this person is definitely going to want you to be on their side and to give them some sort of help. You have the Four of Wands, which represents um, redemption. That's what they want with you. They want a long-term, they want a commitment, the Four of Wands. Four of Wands even represents marriage. So let's look at the Two of Swords. Clarify the Two of Swords. Clarify the Two of Swords. Clarify the Two of Swords. Ace of Cups. The Fool. Queen of Cups. Clarify the Two of Swords. So the two of swords, this is all about decision making, but this is someone who is kind of confused, too confused to make a set decision. Um, that's why you see here, there's two arrows. Which way do I go? You know, that's what this individual is trying to decide. Um, you're very strong. You're very strong, um, Scorpio. Like when I looked at the seven of wands, I saw your strength. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you why I say that. But with the ace of cups, this individual will try to pressure you. It's almost like they will feel, they will make you feel obligated to be with them. I don't know how to quite explain it, but it's like, oh, you know, now that I'm out of this, that karmic situation with that person we're meant to be together. We're supposed to be together right now. You know, now we, we need to get together. But it's like, I don't, I don't, I don't see that you believe that anymore. I don't see that you believe that you're meant to be with this person anymore. Um, most of you are so spiritually in tuned that you've accepted the connection for what it is and what it was. And you've taken the lessons and you've realized that someone can be a soulmate without being a life partner. Like I said, there's many kinds of soulmates that we will encounter in our lifetime. And you understand the purpose of this particular soulmate. But I feel like from their perspective, it's like, okay, now that I'm done with that karmic situation, me and you are meant to be together. We're supposed to get together. And they will make you feel obligated. They will, they will come on strong. They will overwhelm you. And you're going to be this two of swords here, okay? Um, not that you're not going to know what to do, but I feel like you're not going to want to, you're going to feel bad for them. And yeah, okay? It's like, you know what you want to do, you know, but you will not want to tell them because you don't want to hurt them even more considering the karmic situation that they have been in. It's like this person's going to be really wounded and feeling very defeated. And then you're going to be like, well, I don't want to add more bad news to the rest of the other bad news that they've been getting due to their karmic situation. Ugh, I hope that makes sense. But, you know, you have them here giving you an offer, wanting the two of you to have a second chance at love. And they want things to happen very quickly between the both of you. But you're here as a two of swords like, mm, I don't know about that, you know. And it's not that you don't know what you want. You clearly know what you want, but you don't want to disappoint this person anymore considering, the, you know, the disappointment from their karmic situation. But don't let anyone make you feel guilty or try to pressure you to do something that you don't want. You have the full card that, and that goes back to being this empress, being so caring, you know? And like I said, being an empath is really a blessing. It's incredible. Not a lot of people are this nurturing and caring, but you really have to know when to set boundaries and put your foot down. So you have the fool, which is a risk taker. Like I said, this person wants a second chance with you. Um, it's gonna, they're gonna want things to happen pretty, pretty quickly, okay? And I feel like marriage is one of them. You even have the queen of pentacles that's here, 
okay, which is the queen of abundance. This is how they see you. They feel like you are everything. They feel like you, you are everything, you have everything, and that's why they wouldn't mind, they're not gonna mind taking this risk with you and making things happen between the two of you quickly. Um, you have the seven of wands that's here. Okay, so your strength. When I looked at the seven of wands, I did see your strength. I did see a situation where many people will kind of like make you, f what's the word? <laughs> sometimes when I see, sometimes when I get too many messages or when I see something like a scene, it's hard for me to put it into words. So please bear with me. But what I was seeing is a situation where you will feel obligated. People will make you feel obligated. People will expect you to be with this person. People will kind of look at this situation as if it's some sort of fairy tale, but it's not because you experienced it. They did not. They're only seeing like the romantic side of this. Like, oh, you know, they got out of a karmic situation with that crazy person. And, you know, now they're going to the love of their life, yada, yada, yada. But you're like, no, that's not even what happened, <laughs> you know, because you were part of it. You know, they're, tr you know, the truth and you see things for what they are. And, um, it's very different from those looking in from the outside. And I did see a situation where many will just expect you to get back with this person and forgive this person. And that's when you will display your strength as a seven of wands. And you will say, wait a second now, no. Who are you? Who are you to have any expectations of me? You don't know what I went through. Who are you to make me feel obligated? I will do what I want to do. Because the second you go against this person's wishes to reunite and have a second chance, the second you say no is the second you will have some disapprovals. You will, you will have some people kind of pressuring you and making you feel like you're wrong for that. Yeah, I hope that makes sense, but that is what I was seeing, okay? Um, I really hope that this reading helps, Scorpio. Please remember it's general, so take what resonates and leave what does not. You you are always welcome to visit my website and book a private reading with me if you're interested. The link to my website is in the description box. Um, also, please like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel, all right? Thank you guys so much and take care.